Hi, this is Jason Furman again. And here in this portion, we're going to talk a little bit about, in jazz playing, how we approach the hi-hat with our foot. Now, I'm playing simple jazz time. There are two different ways. Here, we're going to talk about heel to toe playing and also heel up. And this is just in keeping either in two and four or in all four quarter notes on the hi-hat. You would find some older traditional players and I even saw some very good modern players that still do the rocking technique of two and four. So they feel beats one and three on the back of the plate and roll up for beats two and four. So it would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I suggest as you're doing this, it's a good exercise and you're staying balanced when you're working on your feathering to try to do this. So you'd have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that is one way of feeling the time. When you add the ride symbol to that, one, two, three, So it allows you to keep feeling the quarter notes in your left foot while only playing two and four. The other way is the way we talk about on bass drum that I don't use primarily, which is heel up. So they use a rocking motion in your leg. So you one, two, three, four. You might find yourself popping the quarter note down, and I find myself. Three, four. One, two, three, four. I try to, especially getting at faster tempos, because this is the one I use the most, is I try to avoid rocking on all the quarter notes as I get faster and make it just feeling half notes on two and four. So just feeling it with time. One, two, three, faster on each of these, you're going to notice certain shifts in your body that you need to maintain to be relaxed in order to use it. So as we're shifting faster, I'll go between the heel to tip and the heel up. So here's just basic time starting with heel to tip. A little faster than we've done and progressively getting a little bit faster. further and try to find the one that works best for you. I find for myself that if I'm playing in very soft situations that I may tend to use the heel to tip method in playing softer time. It seems for me to facilitate a little bit more level of control and having that greater level of control allowed me to play in a softer situation while maintaining a good feeling snap of two and four in a jazz set. So good luck, and as usual, bring any questions you like 
to any of the comments or to my email. So, good luck.